This video was specifically designed for use with a VR headset, like PSVR, Oculus, or Google Cardboard. This immersive experience was created in partnership with the Mall Art Exhibit, curated by Hannah Quimper Swiderski and Carolyn Jervis at the Mitchell Art Gallery. Holding your parents' hand while you wait in line. Laughing with your siblings while curiously watching what comes next. Getting dropped off by your parents or stepping off the bus with a group of friends. Short, fleeting experiences which, at the time, don't seem to hold any elevated sense of importance. Isn't it funny? How do these small glimpses into our past spark such emotion and longing in our hearts? Memories are just memories. We remember all types of things. Appointments, birthdays, homework, bills. But nostalgia, on the other hand, is almost indescribable. West Edmonton Mall opened in 1981. At the time, it was only as large as what we see here, phase one. Back then, water features and foliage were popular features in malls, and West Edmonton Mall was no exception. The powering center fountain lived at the center of the mall, shooting high above the second floor concourse. Only a couple of years later, the mall expanded and opened the first of what would become an impressive collection of attractions. But like the mall itself, the park opened in phases. Its first iteration was only about a third of the size of what we know today. Eventually, it too expanded. The Mindbender, the Perilous Pendulum, the Orbitron, the Drop of Doom. It's hard to explain what it was like to ride these, but I still don't want the ride to end. Two years later, the World Water Park. Within five years after opening its doors for the first time, the mall had expanded twice. Every step of the way, cementing itself as an even bigger, better attraction. The World Water Park represents a pinnacle destination for many. It didn't matter that the slides were all beige. In fact, I liked them better that way. And while thrill seekers had their drops from up high, I'd rather relax down a lazy river. Cherry blossoms and a cloudy blue sky. Lucky coins and symbolic dragons. Below the supermarket and the bubble tea restaurants, and decades in the past, lived a different theme. Louisiana streets, with taxi cabs and the facade of buildings. Incandescent bulbs did their flickering best to resemble star-studded skies overhead. And neon-spinning guitars hoped to inspire the hungry to stop and eat at rock and roll-themed restaurants. Some things, however, never change. Whether it's a day in the wave pool or a game of bowling or billiards, the mall is a part of many of our lives. The memories are what we keep in our hearts. The memories we made, and the ones we make today. Like 18 holes in the middle of a shopping mall. Originally designed to be a miniature version of one of the world's most iconic courses, Pebble Beach Miniature Golf. I still remember those statues, standing there taking in the competition. A fire-breathing dragon. It was so over the top, so extra, so beyond what was necessary. It was 10 years old when it ran out of gas, and 15 when its pieces were severed from unification. Today, an overwhelming void takes its place. What I've come to realize, however, is that while I've been spending my time remembering what once was, a whole new generation is making their own connections. One day, people will be just as nostalgic about Hasbro-themed amusement parks and Lego stores. What we see as change, a child sees as new. What we miss from the past becomes mere lore in what happens to be a completely unique circumstance. A city where people reminisce, reflect, and even long for a shopping mall. What a wild journey. Enjoy your trip. <laughs>